Hi students. So today we are going to discuss the topic on setting offsets with without instruments. So in the previous class we have seen regarding the offsets uh, of right angles. Now let us see the setting offsets without instruments. So this is from the chain surveying topic. So objectives. On completion of this period you would be able to know the method of setting right angles without instrument and you will know the method of cross top survey so these two methods are very important for your examinations also so without instrument how we will set the right angle and we will know the cross top survey also in this class so in the last period we have learned that regarding offset and offset definition so setting of perpendicular offsets with cross top and optical square so now let us see a right angle with chain or tape so here no instrument we are using we are using just only the chain or whether as tape so whatever which is available in the construction site while you are doing the surveying so if the chain is there you have to take the 30 meters chain or 15 meters chain if the tape is there you have to take 30 meters tape or 20 meters tape okay so here a chain or tape may be used for setting out right angles so in in that both we can use for the right angles or if any one is available we can use for the setting out right angles then the next the first method is based on the fact that a triangle whose sides are in the proportion of 3, 4, 5 is called right angle. So this is the, a method which we are used uh, uh, generally in the site constructions. 3, 4, 5 method. So I will show you how it will be there. So this is a triangle. So if you want to, if you know the two sides length, okay, that is, then you will get this length. So that is nothing but 3, 4, 5. Is it clear? So like this it will be there. So here we can see setting perpendicular on a chain line. So where is the chain line here? Let AB be the given chain line and see the point on the AB at which the perpendicular CD is set up as shown below. So here our A and B. So this is the chain line. So we have to set up a perpendicular line that is at the C point we are taking the point that is in between A and B and next we are take that point C we will be extending it to the a D point so it is up to a length then after that we have to adjoin this length so this will be point E so C E D is equal to a right angle triangle so in this case, you see here, measure of C is equal to 8 meters. So this will be the 8 meters. So pin one end of the 20 meters chain or tape at C and 16 meters mark of the tape at E, the remaining portion of the chain hanging free so did you understand this point so first of all see here a 20 meters chain that is a to b okay so in that it's on 16 meters mark of the tape at e so up to here you mark with the tape e that is known as this point okay and the remaining portion will be the chaining hanging free okay that means from e to b it will be the free so that here 
so we are marking the point that is from A to E and E to C so from B to C will be the another distance so in 20 meters distance it is divided into the <coughs> 16 meters so here yacht and this will be the yacht so this totally yacht plus yacht it will be the 16 meters okay so that is nothing but pin 1 added the 20 meters that is c is equal to 8 meters then chain or tape at c is equal to that is and 16 meters mark of the e at the remaining portion so that means up to here it is totally the 16 meters and it will be the 4 meters okay so up to 16 meters if we mark it here at the point e so then we have to see the this portion okay catching at point e the tape and at the point e so if we want to point the d point then we will get this by 3 4 5 method so here hold the 6 meters mark and pull it until the both segments dc and de are taut so that means so while catching here at e that is dc and d so when these points are connected then this point will be getting then fix an arrow at d then series required perpendicular so next one method 2 so select two point e and f and a b on either side so here this is e and f so a b is the change line so here from the point given c this is a point given c ping the ring of tape at e so starting from here tape at E and hold the 20 meters at mark at F so from E mark it to the F that point is nothing but 20 meters ok up to here 20 meters then holding at the 10 meters mark stretch until both halves are taut and mark the point D so while keeping here E and F the tape so taking in this half 10 meters at point at point D ok so by catching here up to 20 meters and turn this to so by swinging the point we will get D then again join this point also so wherever the point coincide it bisects to the point C. Then C D is then required perpendicular. The next one method 3. Select any convenient point D so that C D is less than the length of tape. So here C D is less than tape. So with D as center and D C as radius swing an arc of a circle cutting the line a b at e so where is the d so this is the d so with d as center and dc as radius swing an arc of circle cutting the line a b so this is the line a b so by keeping the point here with the radius of r then cut it on the point A and B that is known as E and C points so method 3 then next now find the point F on arc in the line with E and D so after cutting the line with the A and B these points you are getting with radius of D and C then we extend this line to the perpendicular at this point on the circle then this point F will be getting so next CF is then required perpendicular so whereas the CF is point which is required perpendicular 
and next is setting perpendicular outside the chain line <coughs> So let us see here, this is when the point is accessible, that means when the point is visible, okay. So case 1, let AB be a given line and DA a given point. So this is the AB a given point, okay. So we have to find the perpendicular here. So let AB be a given line and DA a given point. So D is also the given point. The next, with D as center and any convenient length of tape as a radius, describe the arc EF cutting the given line at E and F. So here, taking the radius, okay, that is with D as center, any convenient length of tape, okay, we have to take any other, somewhat any other length, okay. So which the length is there, from here by keeping the tape, we have to cut the arc from on the line A and B, semicircular arc. So wherever the cutting portion is happened, that point is called E and another portion point is called F, okay. The next, so in case 1, now fix the arrows at E and F, bisect the distance EF at C. So place the arrows here at point E and F, then bisect the distance EF at C. So keep the point here, then bisect this point to EF at C. Then DC will then be the required perpendicular. So wherever the point we are getting at the point C, that will be equal to EC is equal to CF. So this is the EC is equal to CF distance and from here the point which is there the D will be the point. So CD will be the perpendicular. The next is case 3. So in case 3 let us see Select any point E on the chain line AB and measure DE as in the figure 5. This is the figure 5. So see here, AB is a chain line. So on this, select any point E, that is this point you selected okay and measure de as in the figure 5 so so here d is also given the point so measure de the length you will be getting and keeping as e as center and radius de okay swing an arc here with e as center and radius de swing an arc cutting the line a B at F and measure F T. So here by taking the length of E D, keeping the point on the E, then swing the arc uh, from the line A B. So name it as point as F, which is touched on the line. That point is F. Okay. And here A B at F and measure here. FD. So you, before that, wherever the point we are getting, so that is the, from center as E, so that EC is equal to CF again. So then we will get the C point and then bisect it to the D. And from D, you bisect it to the line E. Then we will get the right angle triangle. So obtain the point C on AB by measuring the distance EFC equal to FT2 by 2D. Okay, here it will be the FD2 by 2D. So next DC is the required perpendicular line. <coughs> 
the next is case 3 so in the case 3 we are, we are having a circle so this is the figure 6 so in the figure 6 f be the given point so where is the f this is the f it is a given point and a be the given chain length okay that means this is the a b so that means first how it will be there it will be like this k chain line a b so where the f is this is a point okay somewhere the point is given so next choose any point e on a b measure ef so select the point e this is e okay on point e then measure ef so from here you measure this point e ef okay then after mark the point d exactly midway so next with the length of ef the half distance which is there between EF, the point is called D. Okay. Mark the point D exactly at midway. <coughs> the next, with D as center, describe an arc of DF cutting at C. So here, this is a D point is there. Okay. So keeping the D as center, the point the arc should be taken with the help of df okay so cutting at c so from this point you bisect this one so this point you will get as c and c is the required point so next you bisect it down the perpendicular which is fc and the dc this is the a right angle triangle with the help of method. This is the another method. Up to now we have seen the point is accessible. Now let us see the point is inaccessible. So this is the figure 7. So here D be the inaccessible point. So this is the D point is the inaccessible. That means it is not visible. So choose suitable point E and F. So select on the AB line. E and F on the line EAB <coughs> the next set out EG and FH so where is set out EG and FH perpendicular to perpendicular to FD and ED respectively mark point K at their intersection so that means set out eg okay how we will set out this is eg and fh mark the point k that is nothing but the center point which is there where the touching of this line where the two lines meets here that is called k The next, find the point C on AB in line with K and D. So find the point C. So this is the point C on AB line with K and D. So after getting the point K, intersect, extend this line to the point D and from D you again bisect the line to the C then you will get this straight line which is intersected between the E and F here DC is then required 
perpendicular. So the DC line which is there, it is the perpendicular line. So before getting gear EG and FH, how we will bisect? So we should be bisect with the half of the radius with the help of EC. Taking as point center as radius E, center point E, then bisect it. And again keeping the point on F and bisect it. So wherever this point meets, that point is called K. So meanwhile, we will be extending this point H and G and DKC. Now the next one is crosstop survey. This is very important. Crosstop survey. So here object. The object of crosstop survey is to locate the boundaries of a field or plot to determine its areas. So this cost of survey generally we are used in the for location of in the agricultural fields for creating the boundaries and whereas in the plots also these plots are nothing but used for the construction of houses, buildings, any other structures and we can determine the areas of a forest any grounds okay so whichever it will be useful so the instruments which are used for the crosstop survey are two chains are required and arrows are compulsory required for make, keeping the points on the ground surface and ranging rods to mark the points of ranging rods and crossed off it is used for the perpendicular uh, offsets lines making right angles and plumb bob so the plumb bob is to make the center point of the line so here in two chains one chain is used for measuring the baseline and the other is for measuring the offsets so here in this the two chains which are there one chain is used for measuring the baseline and the other is for the measuring the offsets okay so here a cross stuff is used to set out the perpendicular directions of offsets which are more than 15 meters so here a cross stuff is used to set out the perpendicular directions of offsets which are more than 15 meters so they are more than 15 meters so if more than 15 meters we will use in the perpendicular directions a cross stuff so for accurate work for accurate work an optical square is preferable so if you want to get the actual or very fast correctly optical square is preferable but we in the cases if we don't have the optical square we can grow for the cross top so this cross top is also generally used in the chain surveying uh, in all the fields and it is also very easy to use in the chain survey. So here some of the general principles are there. So first of all, measurement by a chain and cross off is based upon the two formulas. That is, that the area of a right angle triangle is equal to the base multiplied by half the perpendicular so here that the area of a right angle triangle which is there it is equal to the base multiplied by the half the perpendicular 
so that means it is a right angle triangle so in this it is equal to the base okay which is the base multiplied by the half of the perpendicular that the area of a trapezoid is equal to the base multiplied by half the sum of the perpendiculars so in right angular if it is and if trapezoidal like this means it is a trapezoidal shape so in this trapezoidal shape the area of trapezoid is equal to the base multiplied by the half of the perpendiculars so now method of cost of survey so this is the our diagram so a chain line is run through the center of area so where is the chain line here the a and b these two are the points with the chain line a to d is the chain line so we are measuring the area of this one the total so in this we are taking the perpendicular offsets and taking the point from b so here the offsets to the boundaries on either side of it are fairly equal so that means here the offsets of the boundaries on either side of it are fairly equal because these are the offsets where f e c and d so these are the offset points which are taking from the chain line so the offsets are taken as they occur in the order of their chain edges so where is the chain edge here the ad is the chain edge line so from a to g you measure the length then again from keeping the cross of a g point then bisect the point at b point then it will be becoming the a right angle triangle so here to check the accuracy of the field work the chain edges of the points of intersection of the chain line and the boundary should be noted the boundary should be noted that a b c d e f these are all the boundaries of the chain edge line and h j are all the chain edge center points so by this we can make here gb and ab ab is ag is equal to gb then we will get the length of ab so here in this case you can see the triangle form was also used half into base into height so that we will use in the number 1 and in number 6 also we will use the same formula so what will be the base we are taking so this is the length we have to take and this is the height we have to take so this we will have the half of the portion then we will get the ap length so like that we have to find ab length and af length and we have to find out the cd length and ed length and next we have to find out the f length also we have to find out the total boundary lengths then we can calculate the area so in distance between these centers also we will be find out in the lengths also so this is the generally a cross top survey so after the field work is over the survey is plotted to a shootable scale so this type of uh, surveying is also called chain triangulation so this we call it as chain triangulation so this chain triangulation method is very useful for the calculation of areas so this type of methods we are using in the civil engineering purposes 
generally in a, a new structure or new project we should be constructed so before that this in this tab the area will be calculated so by keeping the boundaries only we will get the accuracy of the field work so here next after doing this calculation it is to be plotted in the drawing sheet as per the scale or suitable square then the figure is divided into number of triangles and three points the areas are computed by the formula that is the total area is sum of all areas so let us see a problem here plot the following cross top of the field a b c d e f g h and calculate its area this is sketch not to scale so here the problem is given so in this problem before you can see where is the a this is the a and this is a point d so when it starts here zero the first point is zero a and next from zero to hundred the point will be started and again from 100 to 180 so from one and from 182 it will be going to the point g 50 so here it will be the one triangle and again from 180 it will go to the point 60 and from 100 to 160 it will one become one triangle and from 182 it will goes to the 300 and 300 to 250 that is the f point from 250 to 50 again it will become the square and 300 to 490 and 490 to 180 it becomes one length that point c and from 180 to 300 it will become a triangle okay and next 490 to 650 so 650 to 210 it becomes an angle and from 210 to 250 it becomes an angle so from again 750 to 650 so 750 to 210 it becomes an angle and from 750 to 180 it becomes an angle and from 180 to 160 it becomes so totally how many boundaries we have came like let's we check so here this is a diagram have we drawn same like this yes so here you can see this is the first point where we have seen a and d so we can see these points are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So then after J, K, L, M, this is M, and this is M, this is P. So this is a solution so first in the figure what is the diagram a j g what is a j g this is a solution i will change the color so this is a color first one first one is a j g so this is a triangle first triangle so first triangle it starts zero 0 to 100 that is the first chain it so base is 100 what is the base is 100 so from here a to j it is 100 okay that's why we will call it as base is 100 and offsets are 0 and 50 so the mean is 25 okay so here what is the 50 and 25 mean the offsets are 0 and 50 so where are the offsets you can see so this is a 0 to 100 okay so and next 100 to 50 so 50 is the offset we have taken so that we have to calculate here zero and 50 are the offset that is between the hundred 
so we have to take here the calculation so let us see here the offsets are 0 and 50 and the base is 100 so change is 0 to 100 so that means this is a change which is starting from 0 to 100 ok and your offsets are 0 and 50 so that means from 180 it started this is called offset this is 50 ok and here base is 100 we have to find out the this length ok so that will be the a triangle so here the triangle is AJG so 0 plus 50 by 2 that is called 25 so 2500 how we will get so we have to calculate 100 into 25 then you will get 2500 meters and next JGFM so here change is 100 and 300 where is JGFM so this is the you can see so here this point is termed as J G F M ok so J G F M here the offsets are 100 and 300 so change is 100 and 300 where is 300 so here the 100 change is 100 and up to here it is 300 so this 300 change is taking base is 200 where is the base here so this is the base 200 that we have to do 300 here you can see this is the base 200 so from this base again offsets are 50 and 250 50 plus 250 by 2 150 then 200 into 150 you will get 30,000 same like that MF, EP, PED, ABK, BK and C, C and D we have to take the changes 300 and 650, 650 and 750, 0 and 180, 180 and 490, 490 and 750 so MFEP also 3650 so where is the 300 so this is the 300 and this is the point 650 so from 300 to 650 it is the point which is taken here so next again in these offsets are base is 350 ok so where you will get this base by this change ok so here in this base you can see so this is the base we are getting generally see here 100 plus 300 400 400 by 2 200 same like that 300 plus 650 you will get 950 so 950 by 2 you will get so in this chain age we have to do the minus so here some 650 which is there 650 minus 300 you will get 350 so from 350 that is your offsets are 250 and 210 so 250 plus 210 by 2 then we will get 230 so again from 350 into 230 you will get 80,500 so like this we have to do in this change operations so again PED 650 and 750 and here from 750 minus 650 you will get 100 and again 100 the 210 210 and 0 so 210 by 2 we will get 105 so 100 into 105 we will get 10,500 meters square same like that again 0 and 180 so here base is 180 180 minus 0 
zero or zero minus one eighty one eighty. So this is the zero plus one sixty one sixty by two eighty. Again from one eighty into eighty we will get fourteen thousand four hundred. Again one eighty four ninety. So we will get four ninety minus one eighty three ten. So from three ten you see. Offsets are 160 and 180. 160 plus 180 by 2, we will get 170. The next 310 into 170, we will get 52,700. So like this, the C and D also will be there. So finally, we will get adding this all areas, 2 lakhs 14,000 meters square we will get. So therefore, area of field is equal to 2,000. For 2 lakhs 14,000 meters square. So that is 21.4 hectares. So finally, in this period, you have learnt about setting the right angle offsets without instrument and cross top survey. So have a nice day. Thank you.